Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm True American Patriot and in this video we'll be doing a 2024 presidential election prediction between former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden. Before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us get to 2,000 subscribers. It will be much appreciated. So after a disastrous debate performance from President Biden, this map is going to have some slight changes. And it's going to be very interesting to see if President Biden will indeed be the nominee for the Democratic Party. Because there's a lot of people that want President Biden to step down. In my honest opinion, I don't know. I believe that the debate was a setup. We, we've never had a debate this early. It, never in June, July, or August. We've never had a debate this early. Why? And he performed like most people expected him to, possibly even worse. You know, we were expecting some attacks on Trump, but he, they didn't hit as hard as we thought they were. So looking at the map so far, Democrats 198, Republicans 196. So in Nebraska's second district, I believe the Republicans are now going to win it, probably by a tilt margin of victory. In Iowa, that's likely for Donald Trump. Ohio is likely for Donald Trump. And North Carolina is mean for Donald Trump. And for some other states, Minnesota in the polls has been getting very tight. So I think it's going to be a mean margin of victory in Minnesota. Same with Virginia and same with New Hampshire. Now these six states are going to decide the election. So, starting off in the state of Nevada, Donald Trump currently has a 2.1% lead based off 37 polls. Trump has 49.0% of the vote. President Biden has 46.9%. As an ad debate performance, I think Donald Trump's going to do better with Hispanics. I think Donald Trump was good on the abortion issue. I feel like Donald Trump did very well on almost every single issue. I think Republicans and Donald Trump are going to win in Nevada in 2024, finally winning it since George W. Bush did back in 2004. And Trump's doing very well with Hispanics. And also, Donald Trump has been raising a lot of money, which is going to help put more ads in Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. It gives the Republicans more money. And historically, Republicans have been outspent by Democrats. So this is going to be the first time where it's going to be a little even playing field. In Arizona now, Donald Trump currently has a 4.8% lead based on 51 polls. Trump has 49.2%. Biden has 44.4%. In my opinion, I think this is Donald Trump's easiest state to win in 2024. I think he's going to easily win it, especially with immigration. That's key for Arizona vo voters. As we saw in the debate, Trump hit hard on the issue of immigration. And President Biden really did not have a good response. He says no people have died since. No people were dying because of the southern border. Meanwhile, there's proof. Three girls in the past couple weeks are dead because of you know, illegal immigrants coming into this country. So that's a big problem. Moving up to, actually, we're going to go to the state of Georgia now, where Donald Trump currently has a 4.3% lead based off 39 polls. Trump has 50.1%, Biden has 45.8%. I think Trump also wins in Georgia. Trump's is doing three times better in polls with the black voters. Therefore, Atlanta has a lot of black population, and I think Donald Trump's going to do very well in Georgia. He's going to flip it back to the Republicans. And according to the Biden campaign, they have quit in Arizona and Georgia. They feel like Donald Trump's going to win both of them. They are not spending any money. President Biden's not even going to visit those states that often, even though the debate was held in Atlanta, Georgia. Democrats are really going after North Carolina. Which is a bold play. You're not. I, I believe that Republicans are is gonna. It's gonna be a solid North Carolina win for Trump. 
I don't. I feel like Democrats should not be going to North Carolina. Democrats should be focusing on retaining Arizona, Nevada, or Georgia. Even even if those three states go red, Donald Trump still has to pick off a Wisconsin, a Michigan, or a Pennsylvania. He's got to flip one of them. So if you're President Biden, you're really hammering hard on Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and holding on to that rust belt. You need to hold on to the blue wall. He ordained the blue wall back in 2020. Back in 2020, he saved the blue wall. 2016, it came crumbling down when Donald Trump was elected president. So it's very key that President Biden really visits these key places, or else he, his, he and his campaign are done. In Wisconsin, Donald Trump, current, excuse me, President Biden currently has a 0.1% lead base of 38 polls. Biden has 47.7%. Donald Trump has 47.6%. Honestly, I think Wisconsin's going to go red. I think Wisconsin's going to be a Republican state. I think it's going to be one of Trump's... I think it's the easiest state that Donald Trump can flip. And just for a little scenario, even if Biden holds on to Nevada, Republicans still win. So therefore, that's why it's so crucial that Democrats win in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. And back back to Wisconsin. It's really... Key, uh, this is, was the smallest margin of error in the Rust Belt. Donald Trump only lost it by 20,000 votes. And we're having major issues with the economy, the southern border. And I feel like it should just be really easy for Trump to flip in Wisconsin. Moving on to Michigan. Donald Trump currently has a 1.3% 1, 1. need based on 54 polls. He has 48.8, Biden has 47.5. In my NAS prediction, I thought I predicted that President Biden's going to win in Michigan. Today, I changed that. I think Donald Trump's going to officially win in the state of Michigan in 2024. After that disastrous debate and with the uncommitted vote, it's just really a... Even the governor of Michigan, Governor Whitmer, if you go on, if you Google, she said that Joe Biden, after that debate lost the state of Michigan. And if he did drop out, she will not run for president. So she's back in Biden, but she doesn't think he's going to win Michigan. And neither do I. And heading to our final state of the night, which is the great state of Pennsylvania, Donald Trump has a 2.0% lead of 54 polls. Donald Trump has 49.2. Biden has 47.2. Donald Trump's going to win the state of Pennsylvania once again in 2024. And this is my largest president, presidential election victory for Donald Trump. And I think it's well-deserved. There's going to be another debate. I don't know how they do another debate. But there is still an ongoing discussion in the Democratic Party and within the Biden family that it's possible that President Biden doesn't run. That he drops out. Now, that would become a disastrous scenario for Democrats, but there's but publicly Democrats, CNN, NBC, MSNBC, they're all saying that President Biden is in deep trouble. So I thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys once again, thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends, comment down below on what other videos you'd like to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.